In this video, we're going to look at scientific notation, which is an easy way to write very large numbers or very small numbers. There are three scenarios we're going to look at, starting with a large number, a large number with zeros in it, and a very, very small number. Looking at example A, we have the number 21,743. There are no zeros in it, so we have five significant figures in our question, which we use to write the root of our scientific notation as 2.1743. We're going to be multiplying that by 10 to some number, which we don't know yet. I like to always go back to the number that I was given and put the physical decimal point in and count the spaces to get back to our original number. We're looking at going one, two, three, four places. So the number would be an exponent four and positive because we're moving it to the right. We're getting larger. And just to make sure our answer is correct, I'm going to make sure in my final answer there are five significant digits and I've multiplied it by 10 to the power of 4 and I'll put a box around it. Now let's take a look at example B. The number is 341,000 and we're asked to again write it in scientific notation. To start, I'm going to say how many significant figures are there. I know that three 4 and 1 are all significant figures, and the zeros that follow are insignificant because there's, they're just showing place value. So now I'm going to take the significant numbers, and I'm going to use those as the root of my number in scientific notation, which is 3.41 times 10 to the power of something, which we find by placing the decimal back in our original number and seeing how many places we move over. Moving to the right, one, two, three, four, five spaces, so we know our exponent is going to be a positive five as the number gets larger. Again, check significant figures. In our answer, we have three significant figures, which we started with three, so that we know that we're good to go there, and we need to just simply go ahead and box our final answer. In example C, we have a really, really small number. The first step still remains, find out how many significant figures we have. In the example, the leading zeros are not significant, so we should only have two significant figures in seven and three. We use those two significant figures as the root of our scientific notation and write it as 7.3 times 10 to the power of something. Let's go back to our original number and see how many spaces we have to move our decimal place. We're moving to the left. One, two, three, and four. Because we're moving to the left, we know that the exponent has to be negative, and our number is four places. Check to make sure that your answer has two significant figures, which it does. And let's put a box around that just so it's easier to read.